All right. And not to sound like a fainting Victorian bell or anything, but I have a bitch of a headache. Concern creases her face. Do you want something for that? I wish a good old-fashioned orgasm would cure it. But probably not. Ibuprofen and a cup of strong coffee? Sure, I'll start the pot. Tablets are in the pantry over there. She points me in the right direction. Thanks. I call over my shoulder as I walk into the enormous closet off the kitchen that Harlow has stocked with a few spices and canned goods. I shake out a couple of pills before putting the bottle back on the shelf. When I emerge from the pantry, Harlow is staring at the coffee brewer, watching it drip. How do you like it? Then it happens, just like before. One minute I'm in the moment, the next, nothing. And I know it's coming. I start to sweat. Still, I try to open my mouth and form words. I know if I push the sounds through, nothing coherent will come out. I'll blurt some sound that I can't even pass as a, huh, or what? I close my eyes, grit my teeth, and try again to remember the conversation. What did she ask me? You okay? Since there's nothing wrong with my motor skills, I merely nod. Want your coffee black, or do you just want to call it a night? I still can't find my words, but at least I know she was asking me about coffee before I spaced out. Fuck. Why is this still happening to me? I shake my head and try to snag the cup from the brewer. If I whip it up to my lips, maybe she won't notice the silence. Black coffee is my preference. Why can't I say that right now? I know the words. They're in my head. I just can't seem to get them to my mouth. Sit down. She smooths out a frown. I'll wash the dishes and clean the kitchen. I'm afraid to look at Harlow again. Confusion on her face would be bad. Pity way worse. I grip my mug and stare down into the dark brew, wondering how long the episode will last this time. I know sleep will help, but damn it, I don't want to give up tonight with this woman. I'm not sure the chance will ever come again. Until this shit, I didn't have much in the scintillating conversation department anyway, but to have zero? How can I get naked with her if I can't even talk to her, ask her what pleases her? Stubbornly, I shake my head. She frowns. Really, I've got this. Why don't you hang on the sofa and I'll join you when I'm done? It will only take ten minutes. I want to argue, but without words. How? Then Harlow makes everything easier when she leads me to the living room and fluffs a cushion on the island casual couch. Then gives me a saucy wink. When I'm done... If you still want to have your wicked way with me, I'm totally game. Finally, I look her way. Really, look. I don't see pity. I see concern. Weirdly, that turns me on. Unfortunately, I can't seem to summon the verbal skills to thank her. I promise myself I'll show her my appreciation in bed later. When I hear water running in the kitchen sink behind me and the pop of the dishwasher opening, I close my eyes. Maybe a ten-minute power nap will resurrect my verbal agility. If not, I'll simply have to show her that I'm really good with my tongue.